Hi everyone, my name's Ski Okenfall from Point Blank Music School and I'm back again for another video. This time we're going to be looking at an amazing new plugin. It's the Rhodes V8 Pro. Now this is a recreation of the Rhodes Mark 8, which was released a couple of years ago by a Leeds-based company called Rhodes Music, who basically bought the rights to the original Fender Rhodes model, and they've made an amazing electric piano recreation of the Fender Rhodes. I'm a massive fan of the Fender Rhodes. Um, I've actually got a Mark 1, which was originally made in 1972. I've used it on loads of tracks. I've played it out live. It's quite beaten up now so uh, the picture you're seeing here isn't my original one but it's a fantastic keyboard and super inspiring and I think they've done a fantastic job with this new Mark 8 and with this plug-in it's essentially like having that in your computer so if you can't quite afford the original model then you've got it here so we're going to be looking at this it's also worth mentioning that they've recently brought out something called the V-Rack which is a recreation of all the actual effects that appear on the V8 Pro so that's also great. So what we're going to be doing is I'm going to be recreating a track of mine this time. This is a track that came out in 2000. This is it. It's called Fifths. It came out in Columbia, France. That's the 12-inch. Uh, Amazing Jazz and Over remix on that. And it's from the album Life Changes, recently reissued on digital platforms, so you can go and check it out. So yeah, if you haven't heard the track, here's a snippet from the video. So yeah, just a few fun facts about the track. So written and produced by myself, as I mentioned before, came out in year 2000 on Columbia, France, and it was from my WLP Life Changes. Style-wise, it's got a deep house, kind of jazzy vibe to it, heavily influenced by one of my heroes, Herbie Hancock and Larry Hurd as well. And production-wise, uh, it features some TR-808 drums, not an actual machine, but um, some samples, and my real Fender Rhodes as well. All right, so let's get into recreating this track and showing off the V8 Pro. So uh, I've got Ableton Live 12 here, still in the beta, so very lucky to have that. I've also got the latest version of Push, this is Push 3. I've got a complete control and also a Korg Nano control as well. Let's have a look at the track. So basically I've preloaded um, these tracks with the instruments and on the first track I've got an instance of this V8 Pro. There it is in all its glory. So let's just have a little play. Okay, so just to give you a very quick run through of what's on this panel. The first section here is the preamp section and there's an envelope control which acts as a kind of envelope filter. We'll actually look at that a bit later. And there's a drive as well so um, we can get some nice kind of distortion out of that. I've actually got this kind of completely flat at the moment but just to carry on going through. So we've got an EQ section, equalizer, um, with your standard kind of low, mid and high. We've got a vary pan. Now this was always a feature of the Rhodes, not the stage version but the suitcase and some other versions as well. Essentially this is like like uh, an auto panner, so if you're listening to your headphones, you should be able to hear it going from side to side. And then we've got some other effects here. We've got a compressor, chorus, phaser, and a delay. Okay, so the reason this track's called fifths is in the bass line, I'm playing the interval of a fifth. There we go. So it's tracks in E minor. And if we go from the tonic, this is the first note, one, two, three, four, five. This interval is a fifth. And the bass line goes like this. Enough music theory. I'm going to bring back the plug in there so we can see what we're playing. And I'm going to use the fix length function here so I can actually kind of record a set amount of bars as loops. We've got the record quantize on and we've got the metronome on as well. So let's record the first part. There we go, it's gone in. I'm going to put an octave on that as well. Take the metronome off now. Great, so we've got our first part in. I'm now going to shoot over to the drums and I'm going to record in this 808. So, got some sounds here, got a kick, a hat that's going through a sort of phaser, open hat as well. I've actually got a 909 hat in there as well, and this rim shot. So, we're going to keep it as a two bar and I'm going to record uh, this part in. Here we go.
nice. For the hats, I'm going to use um, step recording. So it's going to punch those in. You notice I've left some gaps there. So in those gaps, I'm going to put the open hi-hat. Now, originally I actually made this track in Logic and I'm pretty sure I used the Swing A kind of quantize or swing on this. So I'm gonna to try to recreate that. I'm gonna just add about, I don't know, about kind of like eight, yeah, 8% 8 swing on that. So let's just add that, see what that sounds like. Okay, so I'm just gonna develop those drums a little bit. I'm just going to duplicate that part down. And I'm gonna add this rim shot. Cool. Press quantize again just to add that swing. And I'm gonna just add that 909 hat to that now. Just on the offbeat. Okay, so we're gonna carry on now um, with another road sound. So this is a kind of funky syncopated part. And I mentioned earlier that there's an envelope control. Now this is like a kind of auto wire effect. Um, let me just play it to you. Kind of really funky. I've got a bit of drive on this as well. And I'm used to using the Ableton reverb. So this is a fixed length of four bars. So I'm gonna record this in now. Cool, I'm going to add the swing to it, pressing the quantize button. Great, so this is the real flexibility of this plugin is that, uh, you know, the fact it's got all these kind of effects built in. Okay, so pressing on. Now this next sound is a non-road sound. And when I originally made this track, uh, I had a JV2080, which I've actually still got. And I'm a big fan of Roland Cloud. And they have produced the Super JV, the JV1080. And it's got the original sound that I used on it, which is this sound called Translucence. Just play it to you now. It's a lovely sound. It's kind of like a trippy kind of organ sound. I'll just show you what I'm playing here. So there are two chords which go over this groove that I've created um, and in the left hand I'm just playing this E kind of fifths with the octave and in the right hand I'm playing a B sus4 with an octave as well. That's the first chord and then the left hand I go up to the G, play a kind of G fifths and in the right hand I go down a tone and I play an A sus4. So those two chords there. This is an eight bar loop, so I'm gonna change the fixed length to eight bars, and let's record that in. Right, we're back onto the roads again for the third instance. Again, I'm making use of some more uh, of the effects on here. So this is the sound. Um, so for this, I'm using the vary pan and also the delay as well. So if I take those off, there we go. This is straight sound. Put the vary pan on. And then I put the delay on. And this is playing those same chords that I was playing on that uh, JV1080. Um, but for the second chord, I'm using a bit of a kind of spread, like a glissando. In order for me to be able to capture that, I need to turn the record quantize off. So let's record that in. So that's three road parts now we've put down. They've all got slightly different sounds. The next sound I'm gonna go onto is uh, an electric bass. 
Now, I got a bass player in at the time. His name was Mike Lines. Mike, if you're out there, I've lost contact with you. Please get in touch. It was a fantastic session, and he came in, he just played kind of loads of different riffs, and then I kind of took some of them and looped them and sampled them. So the sound I'm using for this is actually an Ableton pack. I really like it. I'll just show you what it is. It's an e-instrument studio bass. So yeah, go and check it out, but I really love the sound of this. And basically, there are a few different parts. The first part is literally just playing the same bass line. So I'm gonna go back to two bars. I'm gonna put the record quantize back on. Now we're gonna record that in. Okay, there's a couple of other bass parts, but before I put those in, there's one other part I'm gonna add, which is this loop, it's a drum loop, it's called clap beat. I'll just play that to you. No idea where that came from, but I love it. I really love the kind of clap sound of that. So if we listen to that with uh, the music that I've just added. Great, so the track's really building up. Before I add the other bass parts, I'm just gonna build up the arrangement in session view here, sort of copy down a few parts. So first of all, I'm just going to copy down the uh, 808, then the translucence, so I'm gonna copy that down to the scenes here, um, and then the clap beat as well down there. Cool, so the next sound is this bass sound. And it's gonna go over this scene here. So this is the same sound, vintage bass finger, but I've actually put a chorus over this. And a Jacko, Jacko Pastorius sound. So let's add that part in. add that swing just very quickly let me just show you what I'm playing there so um, just an E in the bass um, and then this chord here so that's an F a B and an E so we've got this kind of augmented fourth sound here and then the octave there so very jazzy sound okay so let's just duplicate that down to the next scene and then there's one more part to put in I'm gonna go back onto the original bass sound And it's kind of a, just a slight variation on that original bass line. Quite kind of herby sounding. Here we go. Okay, so we've uh, added all the parts in. Now what I want to do is actually do a performance of the track and I'm going to use one more road sound, it's going to be a bit more of a sort of distorted sound and also another Roland Cloud sound, an SH-101. So let me just show you those sounds. First of all, the road sound. So this is really making use of that drive sound as well. I've also got the very pan on. Kind of almost sounds like an electric guitar. And then the other sound is this SH-101. using the modulation wheel now here to add some LFO. Uh, back in the day when I made the track, I had kind of all this as hardware and now I've actually got it available in software. So it really is amazing. Okay, so let's go and actually play the track live. I'm gonna record this in. So I've got a record of what I do. Let's go for it. Thank you. 
Okay, so there we go. I uh, hope you enjoyed that. It's amazing to have this incredible keyboard actually in a box, in your door, be able to kind of play with it. So yeah, I hope you can enjoy it too. If you're interested in creating your own plugins, check out our BSC on Music Software Engineering. Um, you can actually develop your own plugins from scratch. So please go and check that out. I'll be back again very soon for another video. Please check out our website, pointblankmusicschool.com. Check out all our amazing degree courses. I look forward to seeing you very soon.